More than a week after Singapore's presidential election, nearly 3,800 overseas votes have been cast and counted. And they reinforce the election win for Mr. Tharman Shamagaratnam, with more than 76% in his favour. More than one in three of the total votes cast are also postal votes, a first in the country's election process. Lauren Ong tells us more. These are the last of the votes to be counted. From 9 a.m., officials began sorting the ballot slips, this time from two types of boxes. One containing votes made at 10 overseas polling stations and another from the Postal Service. This is the first time postal voting is used in an election after changes were passed in Parliament in March. To be accepted for counting here, the return envelope and the marked ballot paper must be postmarked before polling day and reach the returning officer within 10 days. Initial concerns over postal voting included how to keep them secure and secret and ensuring they make it back to Singapore in time to be counted. To speed up the process, the slips were distributed electronically. Nearly 3,000 people downloaded them. 1,345 were mailed back and accepted by Monday's deadline. More than 76% of votes cast overseas were for Tharman and Shamagaratnam, reinforcing the results from polling day. In total, more than 2.5 million ballots were cast. That's more than 93% of registered voters. Some 50,000 votes were rejected. It was an election of other firsts as well, with polling stations set up at some nursing homes in another improvement for voter accessibility. It was also the first contested presidential election in more than a decade. Mr. Daman Shamagaratnam will be sworn in on Thursday.